Let's start with looking at the Tzimach Tzedek that we actually looked at at the end. I'm not sure if we caught it. But there is a piece in the Tzimach Tzedek, which, which uh, the second piece in the Tzimach Tzedek after the Mishnah. First says Mishnah Dalad. And Dalad, uh, Ad Abba. And the next piece is Becheska Shonosa. It's a very important piece in the Tzimach Tzedek. It's also going to help us frame the way we understand the Sugya. So the Rambam, the Ches, the Tzimach Tzedek writes like this, Becheska Shonosa. So this is still the first clause of the Mishnah. The clause we, talk, we talked about yesterday at length, which is that the first four Amis, the presumption is that both parties paid until one person brings a proof that the other party didn't pay. And that was the discussion yesterday between the Russian Rashi with the Tzimach Tzedek's Biur as to what exactly constitutes a Raya that the other guy didn't pay. It says the Rambam like this. It says the Tzimach Tzedek like this. Pirush Rambam. The Rambam says, Peregim Mulch Shechenim. In chapter 3, the laws of Shechenim, Din Beis, Halacha Beis. The Rambam writes, the Mardi, that the case is, even if we know, we know, even if we know for certain that one person did the building, Reuven did the building, nonetheless, Shimon still has the Chazaka that he gave the money. So it's not the Pshat that the Chazaka is only when there's a wall in front of us and we don't know who built it. So we assume it belongs to both of them. That's the Lefichach of the first Mishnah. Right, the Fichach, the first Mishnah was because the Chacham and Meir Takana, that when two people build the wall, they split the cost. So whenever we find a wall years later, if it fell or if it's standing, the assumption is it belongs to both. But here we're saying, we know one person built it. We know the story. And one guy built it, the other guy didn't. Nonetheless, still Chazaka that he gave. Why? Because we know, because we are certain that Ruvain knows that he, can, that he can claim the money from Shimon. And therefore he probably did, unless he has aid him or whatnot. Like it's, that. Al- it's, it's almost, almost the, the whole thing of this, it's, it's, it's almost counterintuitive. That he's chayev to give, so we assume he gave, so we're not we're, we're not him to give. Yes, you know okay. What I mean? okay, you're looking at one guy, but you have to think of the other guy. He knows he can get money out of that guy, so why would he go ahead and build it on his own dime if he knows he can get it? Yeah. Unless he tried. Why would the guy go and build a wall himself if he knows he can easily walk over to him and say pay, and if not, take him to Besdin? And, and then you have the Aiden which say we tried and he said no, in which case the, 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 the Besdin will enforce it. Right, we're looking at the guy who built. Why would you build if you know you can get the money? Right. right? And, that's the, and this is the Chiddush here that the Tzimach Tzedek is pointing us to from the Rambam, as well as the Chimu from Pirish Rashi, Tzimach Tzedek continues. Same thing is true in Rashi, and he points to a Rashi on Hail Medbez on the top of the page, which we're going to learn soon. And Shemashma, the implication is, Sha'echad Beno, that one person built it, and the other guy didn't. The Chimu from Betoisvis. Shom the Debamaskal and Lemo, same thing is true in Taisus, which you're going to learn on Daf Hay, where Taisus says, quote, Anan Sadi, we testify, she's also Koisu, that this guy did the wall, and nonetheless, we have a Chazak that the other guy paid. Where, sorry, where are we in the time of The, 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 the uh, second paragraph, which is the Cheska Shinosa. Uh, I don't have the right one. Hold on. The first picture. It's the first picture. Uh, and the second paragraph in the first picture, yeah. Okay. He just brings the Ramban, Rashi, and Toysus to make the same point that it's clear from all of them that even though one person did the building and we know so, nonetheless, the Chazaka is the other guy paid. So he points to a Rashi, Tzimach Tzedek points to a Rashi on Daf Hei on the on Daf Hei I'm sorry, which we're going to learn soon. But it seems it's also clear from the Rashi in the Mishnah. When the Mishnah says, Beches Keshenosan says Rashi, Im Amar Ha'echad If one person says, after he built it, in the singular, Seeming like one guy did the building. Okay, so it's important to keep that in mind that throughout this whole mission, this whole uh, deal, and this whole, this whole discussion, one guy did the building. Okay, so with that in mind, we're going to move forward. Let's go to the Toysvis. Toysvis discusses the second clause. And, and here is where I, I, I want to be able to, I want to try to think about what, Ra- what Rashi might say about it, because Rashi is silent on it. What would Rashi say, especially based on what we know from yesterday, from Tzimach Tzedek? So let's see Toysus. Toysus says, quoting the second clause, from four Amis and above, one person cannot compel the other to do so. Okay. So the second clause said, from four um, I said upwards, one neighbor cannot compel the other to build. 
Um, but if the other guy, and um, once the, but if one guy decides he's going to build higher, and if you remember from last week, we had this discussion, Rosh said, the Rosh said, that when the Mishnah says he's not Mukhuyiv, it actually means he can't and he shouldn't build. But if he built and the other guy didn't stop him, um, then we say that, he, that he's okay. And nonetheless, he's still not Mukhuyiv to build because he didn't express directly that he's interested in the wall there. I'm sorry, a second. Sorry. So we had this machlek. It's Rosh. The Rosh said that when the Mishnah says you shouldn't, when the Mishnah says in the it actually means first, you shouldn't build. But if you did and the neighbor didn't protest, even though he didn't protest, it's not a lie that he actually wants the wall. And therefore, nonetheless, in the Whereas the Tzimach Tzedek said, no. The Chiddush of the Mishnah is that even though the wall before it fell, was ten amas high, and now it fell. And we're machayiv to build up to four. We're still not machayiv to go all the way to higher. But if you want to, you may. If you want to, you may. And why may? Why are you allowed to? Because it once was that way, and you anyways never had your airspace, and therefore I can take it away. And I, I I can build the wall. I just can't compel you to build, but I'm allowed to if I want. To. And then the Mishnah says, "Becheska shaloy nasan." Now the assumption is when this, when we see an eight-foot wall, the assumption is that, and we know one guy built it, assuming that this is where the way we're going with Tzimach Tzedek. So the assumption is that the other guy did not pay for the second four amas. Says the says the Taisus. I D. This is all considering to going, for example, Diadino, that we know. That one guy came and tried to convince his friend to build the other four, the, uh, the second four Amis. And the friend was denying. As the implication is in the language, we don't compel him. As if to say someone's trying to compel him, and we can't go through with that compel him, even though he's asked. And that is why the chazaka they didn't give. The chazaka they didn't give is built based on the fact that he was asked and he said no. And that's why it's a chazaka they didn't give. So, so let's think about that. One second, let's finish the test first. The test says the ain't talking about the shah b'sha'asa chazas. We don't have to say it. The mission is talking about. In other words. We don't, to, we don't have to say the Mishnah means that one guy put a chazas to demonstrate that it's his, right? Because the, the big shal is, who, who, who said, which, who said who's it, who, who's it is, you know? Like, who's to say who's it, who's it is, the, the, the top four arms, right? That you're saying one guy has a chazaka, one guy doesn't have a chazaka. So there are those who say, I think it's a Ben Tam, who says, there's a chazas there, which proves that it's his. And that's why it's a chazaka that the other guy didn't give. Now, that's a very shvera way to learn the Gemara because a chazis is not a chazak that the other guy didn't give. A chazis l'chor is a raya the other guy didn't give. That's the whole point of the chazis. If you're saying chazaka, that means maybe he did give, but probably not. Presumption not. So what's the presumption based on? Says the Tesis. Because he was asked and he said no. Sorry, give me one second again. Sorry. Yeah, apologies. Okay, so let's try to think of this and compare this to what would Rashi say, especially in light of the Tzimach Tzedek. Because Rashi does not say anything about why there's Chazaka he didn't pay. Actually, well, well actually, maybe, maybe, maybe he does. Let's see. Or let's ask it a different way. What's bothering Taisfus that compels, first of all, that I've been time to say, the, the, the last beer there that, that we're talking about a chazis, which therefore also compels Tysus to say we're talking about where one person asked the other guy to pay. The one person asked the other guy to pay and he said no. Lachura, what's the underpinning problem here? What's bothering them that's making them answer this question? What's the question that's making them say this? The Pashtas, I would say, what's bothering them is Lachura, the problem is Lafichach. If you find a wall between two people's property, 
The assumption it belongs to both of them. In Pashtas. Is it not? So why all of a sudden... Right? So why all of a sudden are we saying one guy has a chesk, he didn't give. It's in his property. It's half in his property. Right? Now, Bukhura Rashi avoids this question by saying something that the Tzimach Tzedek alluded to. Even though Tzimach Tzedek was talking about the first clause, the Cheska Shinasan, and here we're talking about the Cheska Shinasan, but I think the same principle applies. Look at Rashi, Tzimach Lech Kaisel Acher. Right? Well, let's go to the Rashi and see why he says there's no Chazaka. Tzimach Lech Kaisel Acher. The other person put in the wall next to the wall. So there was a wall, after one of the two built the other four Amis. So in the same way that Tzimach Tzadik says, and, he, and Tzimach Tzadik says, and even Tzimach says this, that when it comes to the first four Amis, we know for sure one guy built it, and yet we have the Chazak that the other guy gave his money, gave his share. So Rashi is saying, why can't you say the same thing about the second four Amis? We know one guy gave it, and that's why the other guy has the Chazaka for, for, for giving it. I, but he continues, and the other guy didn't want to help him. So maybe he was asked. Right? So he's saying like Tysus. One guy did it, because the other guy didn't want to. So why Bakheska Shalai Nasan says Rashi and Bar, Rishi Mutabal Din, Lach Samakazaka, but then they have a couple of the brothers, they have a decide Again, it's because it's not known, because nobody knows it's halacha, the assumption is he didn't give because he didn't know the halacha, not because he said no earlier. It doesn't say anything about Siruf. Lachorah is built in the fact that we know for sure one guy built it. Is that what Tysus is saying? Does he know one guy built it? Or is Tysus highlighting specifically the fact that the guy didn't, was asked and said absolutely not? And that's what does it. Or is it just the fact that we know one guy built it? I would say that's the, that's the subtlety of the Machlaikas. But it's certainly the difference here. Even though Rashi does say that the other guy didn't want to help, but he doesn't say that the other guy was Masadav. Like, right? Because Rashi already said earlier that if you bring Adim that you asked, and the other guy said, no, that's a Raya that the guy did not pay. That's a Raya, the actual Raya that the guy did not pay. So the same, hap- thing, same thing happened here that you don't need Chazaka, you have Adim that say you didn't pay. Right? It's simply that we know one guy built it. We have no idea if he asked, it didn't ask. Both cases are the same. We know one guy did the whole building. But what do we assume happened? Since we have no witnesses and we have no testimony as to their interaction. Because once we have testimony to their interaction, now you enter into the space of Raya, whether it happened or not. When you're talking Chazaka, it's without Raya. Right? Taisa is saying is a Raya to an event. We know that he asked and he denied. Rashi is saying, we don't, we don't know any, we don't have any raya of an interaction, Lachora. We just know one guy built it. And the assumption is up to four Amis he paid, because I would never go ahead with building knowing I can collect money. And the second half, the other guy didn't pay because the other guy doesn't think he'll ever have to pay. So why would he give money? And that's the Pashta, what's happening here, I think. You know, the question is why Toysis doesn't, doesn't like this. Like what's, what's wrong with saying this? Right? Like, let me put it this way. Does the Becheska Shinnosan have to be the inverse of Becheska Shaloi Nosan? Are they the inverse of each other? Because if that's the case, then when Toysis says, what's Becheska Shaloi Nosan? Because one guy asked and the other guy said, I'm not interested. Does that mean that Chazaka only happens when one guy says, let's do it, and the other guy says yes? No. The Chazaka happens even without that, obviously. Right? So why, when it comes to Becheska Shaloi, do you have to have an actual denial? The Becheska Shaloi is because there's no reason to. Like Ashi says, because, because he doesn't think he'll have to pay, so why should he pay? 
not because he was ever asked and, and, didn't, and outright flat out denied. Right? Okay, so let's keep, let's, uh, keep this in the back of our minds as we go forward, especially as we get to the Gemara. Okay, if it's not clear, uh, interrupt me. But, but the, the Gemara, the Mishnah goes on to say, yeah. Yeah. It is what? It is the inverse then of... It should be, right? Which means, so then, okay, if that's the case, then when Toysa says, you're, the fact that we have a chazaka you didn't pay is because you denied, does that mean the chazaka for payment is when I agreed to pay? What if we have no record of me agreeing to pay for the first four hours? There's no chazaka? Of course there's a chazaka. That's the whole point of the chazaka. Right, so why all of a sudden, when lack of chazaka, do I have to have an action that act, that actively indicates that I'm not interested? In the same, right? No, but you you you, 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 you don't. don't. The mission says you don't, don't right? But becheska shalai. Why is the chazaka shalai nasan? In the second clause, the second four amos. Tosis is saying because I was asked and I said no, and that's what becheska shalai nasan. So I have to have an active denial in order to make a chazaka shalai nasan, right? Whereas in Rashi, an act of... Yeah, that's not a chazaka anyways. That's, Sorry? That's not a chazaka, really. That's a... Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, it's lack of... It's adding, adding to what the mission is. It seems to be adding to what the mission is telling us. Exactly. It's adding... Exactly. The mission seems to be saying that as a matter of fact, it's, it's a chazaka that they didn't give. And Rashi is saying, no, no, it's not a matter of fact. It's because he denied. What's compelling to say that? And even further... Is the other people who say that it has to be a chazis. And without a chazis, you're not proving, there's no chazaka, which is like funny. Like, isn't that the whole point of the Mishnah? That's the whole point of chazaka. It's presumption. You're adding details. Now it's not a presumption anymore. There's rayas here. Right? Whereas Rashi keeps it very simple, very clean. Uh, so I was misreading the Mishnah, actually. Today's face, now that I'm seeing it, is in line with the Mishnah today. Actually, that's on the on the that's next the first clause. Actually, right. yes, it's the second clause. Yeah. Right. So the mission doesn't add the Achiyavaraya. What do you mean? Sure. For for our first discussion, we be, be, it's Achiyavaraya Shalom right. Nasan. Right. That's the inverse. Now it's who's yeah. bringing the raya. The first clause, the person making the claim is bringing the raya, and the second clause, the person who's being claimed against him is bringing the raya. Right, in the first clause, the guy has to bring a raya that the other guy didn't pay. In the second clause, I have to bring a raya. In other words, you always have to bring a raya to undo, your, to undo the chazaka. So if the chazaka is that the guy paid, uh, the, the person should say, say that, that the, for Midal Midal Muslim Island, just as in the Mechayin period. Keep on going. Some of the case of the after, etc. Yeah. Now the last line. V'chazka shaloy nasan, achiviraya shanosan. But that's related to the summer of the case of the no? That's Bechlal, the second four hours. Well, yeah, even if there's a Kaisal next door, even if you have the wall up, even if you have the four wall, even if you have the extra wall up, there's okay, still okay. Not a, it's still not a Chazaka that you paid. Fine, fine. fine. Right? Or is oh, it only. And you know what? That... Look at Ashi, that's what Ashi says. And maybe okay. that's. Look at Ashi. In Becheska Shalinosan. In Bardish and Vitovaladin. When? When? I gave it to you already. In an emon. So why chazaka shalai nasan? Says Rashi. Because not everybody knows about it. He doesn't think he's going to pay. So why should he pay? Or Tyson says no. How do we know he didn't pay? Because he was asked and he said no. Why? Why do you have to have that? Why do you have to have that? Isn't that the whole point of an assumption that even without any proof of what happened? You know, and furthermore, Rashi could not say like Taisus. Because in Rashi's opinion, we learned yesterday, Adim uh, 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 who testified to a denied Taina are actually a Raya that the person didn't pay. Because he was asked and he said no. Or at least it's a Vaday, a vaday Chiyuv and a Suffolk even though in this case, no vada. Well, actually, no, there would be a vada chiyuv here. Actually, there would be a vada chiyuv. Yes. Let's, let's think this through, right? Once the halacha is, 
that once there is a uh, second wall next to the person, I'm obligated to pay, right? When you asked me to pay, but I said I paid, so there's no vada chiyuv, because maybe I paid already. It's not going to vada chiyuv. No, it's good. There's, no vada, there's never a moment to vada chiyuv. And therefore, we go back to the default setting. And the default setting is I probably didn't pay. Right? I think. Yeah, that's right. Even though there's a good reason to pay, that's what Samach Tzadik actually says. We're going to see from the Gemara. Even though there's a good reason to say that the guy paid because he built the wall next to him and demonstrating that he actually likes the original wall, nonetheless, because he doesn't know the halacha and maybe he doesn't have to pay, we say, I don't have to have a, an event when I was asked and I said no. Right? So we have to keep this all in mind because more is going to become more clear as we learn the Gemara right there. Okay. This, okay. So the, 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 I don't know if we have clarity, but the pieces in the table we know, right? We have different pieces here. We have Taisa is making two different ways of understanding that it definitely, it's definitely that one person did the work in some halachic sense. First of all, because it's a chazis option A or option B because one guy asked and the guy said no. Whereas Rashi just says simply one guy did it and uh, the other guy didn't want to join and that was it. The only time he comes for a claim is only after the guy built his second wall. Now he comes to ask him. And nonetheless, Chazaka, they didn't give because not even knows it's halacha. And why would, he, why would he assume that he has to give? Okay. Now let's see the next Toysus. Okay, so the, 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 the Mishnah said, The Mishnah said, even though he hasn't yet built the roof between the wall that he built and the original wall between the two, even though he hasn't built that roof there, which that would definitely demonstrate that he likes that wall. Even before that, the very fact that he put the wall next to it in preparation for putting that roof, that alone is a value that he's happy with the wall, and therefore you make him pay for the whole thing. Says Taisus, ah, fuck out the and the Chaser, even though one guy is gaining, the other guy is li- uh, not losing, Potter, the halacha is his Potter. And that's the case over here. I am gaining because of the wall the other guy built in the middle. And the other guy's not losing anything by me having that wall next to me on my side. So I'd have to pay. I didn't steal anything from him, I didn't steal any of his value. I took away nothing from him. I just happened to be benefiting from what he did, but in no way am I decreasing anything of his value. So why am I obligated to pay? Generally, the halacha, generally the halacha is, I don't pay unless I'm taking away someone else's value. And in this case, I'm not. Says to Jesus, but nonetheless, because he demonstrated his happiness with the fact that the other guy built the wall, Chayv is what is Chayv. He doesn't answer the question, he just says Alpha PK. In a minute, he's going to give an option to answer the question. And it's a that compares it to the Taisvis over there. But at least in his first answer, he doesn't really give an answer. He just says Alpha PK. Nonetheless, because I did an action to demonstrate that I'm happy, I pay. And he says, the same thing is implied in the Gemara Bab Metziah. We learned this Gemara Bab Metziah. This is the Gemara Bab Metziah, which quoted the Mishnah of the person who had walls all around. And then Gemara there quoted the opinion of Rabbi Yaisi. And Rabbi Yaisi said that the guy in the middle, right, the guy on the outside built three walls. The fourth side of the middle field is still open. The guy in the middle went and built the fourth wall. He's Mokhoyev. Mokhoyev to pay for all four. So says the Gemara Baba Metzia, says Taisvis, the Ka'amartaima, the Gemara says that the reason why there's a chiyu for the guy in the middle to pay for the four walls is the nikif, is because the guy in the middle built that fourth wall. Ha'makif. But if the guy on the outside built the four, fourth wall, potter, he would be potter. And the Gemara there used this as a raya, that's shmami no, from here's a proof, zen and potter. And if this guy benefits 
right? The guy in the middle benefits because he has four walls around him. And the guy on the outside, Loi Chaser, loses nothing because he anyways has to build four walls. And the Gemara says, this is Ayla Ispate. So even in that scenario, with the Mishnah, the Gemara is acknowledging that if the guy on the outside built the fourth wall, the guy in the middle is not Mokhoy of Y because the guy on the outside is not losing anything, even the guy in the middle is gaining. Even in that scenario, the Gemara acknowledges that had the guy in the middle built the wall, he would build, he would pay, which means when the guy who's, making the, who's getting the gain takes an action to get that gain, even though that action does not cause the other guy loss, but because he took an action to get that gain, he's like the guy in the middle building the fourth wall, causing no loss to anybody else, but he's actively showing his participation. And likewise over here, so I said, I feel lucky, even though, even though the Gemara there substantiates that Zen then of his other chaser is put there, nonetheless, Kisha Nikif, if the guy in the middle did the action to build the fourth wall, Chayev is Chayev. So Kain Nir Ali, the same thing will be over here. That the guy, when, when, so one, Ruven built the wall from four Amas to eight Amas. Shimon didn't pay. Shimon then goes ahead and builds that fourth wall. It's Taka Zen and Vizele Chaser, but how did Shimon get the Hana? By taking his own action. You take your own action to get Hana, you pay for it. So generally speaking, if I happen to be getting Hana from something you do, but I didn't take any action, and you're not losing by me getting the Hana, I don't pay. I'll just give an example. I don't, I don't know if this is an actual halakhic example, but let's say theoretically in this case, Reuven built the wall to eight Amis. And Shimon gets Hana because for him, he's happier to have shade. Does Shimon not have to pay because he's enjoying the shade every day? No, because he didn't take any action to acquire that Hana. It's all on the actions of Reuven, even though there's a Zen and a Vizela Chaser. But when there's a Zen and a Vizela Chaser, but the nene, the one who's enjoying, took an action for that anah, then he's mochoyev. Whether he's the guy in the middle building the fourth wall, or in this case, where he's, the, where he's Shimon, the neighbor who didn't pay for the middle wall, who's now building a second wall, taking an action to put a roof so they can actually enjoy it. It's, it's almost, almost becomes evident, evident that, that on what, what we objectively consider to be on, uh, that subjectively, uh, Shimon ha- actually subjectively has, has an offer. Uh, or I could say even moreover, he actually was willing to invest in the Hana. He was willing to take a loss to gain that Hana. He's willing to take a loss because he's spending money on that wall. But it, it, so you're right. The like, value of the, of the Hana is, top, it, it is worth it more than the, the, the investment uh, that he needs to put in. Exactly. 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 Yeah. So that's one way of explaining it, says Tysus. Inam, another way of explaining this. It's Hacha over here. When Shimon builds that second wall next to the wall in the middle, he is causing a loss to Reuven. How so? Because he caused him. Because he caused him. He, 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 this is hard to understand exactly what this is. Normal. Zechaser, Reuven, who built the original eight Amis, is losing out. In other words, why did he go from eight four Amis to eight Amis? Because he wanted to have absolutely zero Hezekiah. I don't know, because you have a three story house, and that's why I did it. So there is a chaser. The chaser is quantifiable, even though it's not required by halacha. Even though the halacha only requires four Amis for Hezekiah. But I can still quantify that there is, I can still put a number on the chisarin in his privacy had he not had those four amas. And therefore he is taking, some loss is incurred by the other guy. As you can see, it's a very schwer answer. Because what action did Shimon take to make Reuben get that chisarin? It's like two unrelated events. The Zenene comes from when I build that second wall, when Shimon built the second wall. The Zechaser happened earlier when you built your original wall because you decided to prevent the absolute uh, Hezekiah. So it's like a delayed Zechaser. It can be delayed by years for all we know. 
When's the Zech Haser? The Zech Haser, what Tyson is saying here is, you somehow, like, the extra feet on the wall is only because my neighbor is there. And it's as if, like, this Chisarim was waiting for you to have Anah so that you can pay for it. Something like that. But here it is. Okay, so there's Tysus. So, so you're, you're saying that is it to learn that, that Shimon had to live with, maybe just making the best out of a bad situation sort of thing by building that second wall. Shimon, the Shimon is not the one who's make, has, having the chasarin. The point is that Reuben who, who has a chasarin. Right, because Reuben is taking money from Shimon. So Shimon mm-hmm. has to have Ano and Reuben has to have Chisarin. So what's the Chisarin Reuben has? That I had to spend money on the wall because I wanted to prevent extra Hezekiah. Right. Right. That, so the Chisarin happens the moment that Reuben built the extra four well, Amas. And when does the Hano and Shimon happen? Five years later when they decided to build the second wall. So there's an unrelated two events, one Chisarin, one, Sh- one Hano, and the event of Chisarin on Reuben's end was waiting for Shimon sometime later to have Hana from. It's a very odd type of Zen and Vizel Chasser. Or sorry, Zen and Vizel Chasser. Or in other words, saying, another way of saying it is, what did Shimon ever do to cause the Chasser? Nothing. It so happens you happen to, what, what did I do? I existed as your neighbor. But the, the Chasser has, has not even, the Chasser doesn't need to be caused by by the person experiencing the Hana, the Chassarin just needs to, well, to be somehow give, give him a, a Hana, right? So in this case, he couldn't have the Hana from the second wall without, without Reuben having invested in building the first wall, having the Chassarin to building the first wall. That's a very sound far. It's not what Taisa says, though. Okay. Look, Haz Zechaser, Shagodim Loi, who caused him, right? She. He caused him to raise the, the wall above four. Because I didn't want to have any Hezekiah from that guy. And that's the Chesarin. The Chesarin you caused by being there. Because even though Halacha doesn't require, or even though Halacha doesn't consider that, that a Hezek, but it's still a Hezek because you can still see my third story by looking over the four Amos wall. I, I don't think the emphasis is on the, the good of that, that he caused it, though. It happens to be that he, put up, he invested in, in the, he, he had, he put up a wall, that's the facade. Mm-hmm. There's two things. First of all, that was obvious, the Chatzchila. He spent money. Mm-hmm. That's a Chatzchila that existed. Yeah. And he should have said so. Even Shazel Hoytim Oisov. That itself is a Chatzchila. Sure. But, sure. but, but, but. When the guy on the outside built the fourth wall, that's Zen of Zelich Haser. I spend the money on the fourth wall, but it's still Zen of Zelich Haser because I would have built that wall anyway, because I want it. Mm-hmm. I am building it only because you're there. It's still considered Zelich Haser because you're building it because you want to have around your, you want to have a wall around your property, your problem. But here's Tysus is saying that somehow my being there as a neighbor, it's very modern Zach. It's very, very schwer. The first answer is Glatik. Look, Zenon of Zelich Haser, you're only Potter if the Nehenet takes no action. If the Nehenet takes an action, then he's Mokhuyiv he's because he took an action to enjoy that person's Messiah. That's what you were saying, actually. What you're saying is really the first answer. Because you, you took an action to demonstrate your Hana from the other guy's Chesarin. Not Mamish, but you can read it that way. That's why you have to pay. Because you took an action to demonstrate your Hana from the other guy's Chesarin. Over here, he's saying the Etzin building itself was a Chasarin you caused. The Etzin building Ruben did is a Chasarin from Shimon. Okay? It's very Indian. I hear it. All right. Okay, so if this is clear, let's, let's now go through Gemara Rashi with the next Ahmed. Till they boil a little at least. From the bottom of the next omelet. A small omelet with a few rashis. 
just to get an overview of the flow of the Gemara. And then we'll revisit it with the Toysvistin and analyze the Rashi's next week in Mosh Hashem. Says the Gemara, Amr Eish Lakish, Eish Lakish said, Akraveya is man l'chaveidai, someone who lends money. So Reuben lent money to Shimon, and he sets a time, you've got to pay up in 30 days. Amr Lai, and Shimon responds to Reuben and says, Peraitich, I paid you, the Sayyid's money was in the time. I paid you on day 15. I paid you before the 30 days, before the due date. Yeah, Rashi says, the is man last Rashi on the page, Hey with Aleph, the Malva Shalvo in some loan that he lent out. Okay. So Reuven lent money and says, pay me back in 30 days now. And Shimon now comes and says, look, I paid already at day 15. Says the, says the Shlokish, Shimon is not believed to say that he paid on early. Why? Because part of his money. You know, it would, be, it would be nice to pay it on time. I'm supposed to believe that he paid early. No way. Halavai, he would pay on time. Now he's convincing me he paid early, not believing him. Okay, so this is very sluggish. But Abai, Virava, the Amri, Tavai, Abai, and Rava both say, disagreeing with Rava, Rishlakish, they say, Avid Inish, the part of the It's possible for a person to pay within the two dates or before the due date. Why? Because Zimnin at times, the Misram al Zuzi, money, he, become, he, he comes flush with cash. And Omar, and he says to himself, I'm going to go pay it off so that I don't uh, delay it. And who knows, I'm going to end up losing all my money. This is the Mach like, what's this for? Do we say that a guy tries to hang on to the money for as long as he can and halavai, he gave it back on time? Mesh Lakish his opinion. And therefore, if he said I paid early, definitely not. Or by another say, no, one second. It's, it's, it happens sometimes. The guy gets, you know, he's, he got cash and he wants to pay off when he has cash and not wait till the due date. And... <laughs> He does not flush the cash anymore. It, you know, it's, it's, not, it's funny, it's interesting because you, you can manage to see these photos. And you look at certain people, you know, you can see people with personalities being one way or the other. Like you can see the value of both these things. When someone says that I paid early, is he believed or not? Which photo do you go with? Okay, so now the Gemara is going to try to bring our Mishnah as a Raya for one way or the other. First for one way, then for the other way. Says the Gemara, turn around, sorry. Tonight we learned our Mishnah. First clause. The Cheska Shenosan, the Chazaka is that up to four Amis, the Chazaka is that the guy gave the money. Achi Avidaya until Shimon comes along and says, and brings it, I shall not say he didn't give. Whatever the Raya is. So the Gemara asks, when, so obviously, Reuven is built, Reuven built the wall, right? We'll take, we'll go, it's in Machzadek. Reuven built the whole wall. And he's coming to Shimon and saying, pay me. And the chazaka is that he paid. So now the question is, when Reuven asked Shimon to pay, what did Shimon say back to him? What did he say back to him? Shimon, the Gemara just, Mishra just said, the chazaka is Shimon paid. But what did Shimon actually say when he was asked to pay by Reuven? Right? So Rashi said in the Mishnah, the other guy says, Nasati chalki, I gave my, I gave my share. But when did he say, what does he say? When did he give it? Does he give a date to when he gave it? Says the Gemara. Hey, Chidami, what's the scenario? If the guy says, if Shimon says, I paid it on time. Says the Gemara, Pshita. Obviously, he has a chazak, Bechaz Kashanat. Uh, obviously, it's a chazak he gave. Why wouldn't it be? He says, I gave on time. Why? Because one guy's asking, does he have more of a claim than the other? Even though, we know one guy paid. We know one guy built. Nonetheless, we still say, Chazakei paid. Because why not? This is the din. He paid on time, as the din requires. No reason to say not. Like Rashi says, When is this mana? When is the time? As Goiba Arba Amis, when you finish building the four walls. This is the, this is the word in Rashi that Zemach Tzadik highlights to prove that one guy built the wall. Because the guy says, when, when he says, I paid on time, what does he say? He says, as soon as you finish the wall, I built it. I paid. So you see that one guy built it. Okay, but upon him, so if, the Gemara is saying, if Reuven asks Shimon to pay, and Shimon says, look, as soon as you finish building, which is the due date to pay, I pay right away. Then Pshita says, the Gemara obviously is believed, says Rashi, 
Pshita de Neman, certainly is believed. Why? Shadezu Tainas Mun Libyotcha. This is like someone claiming you owe me a hundred dollars. Baloyma, the other guy says, Hey, look, you don't know me anything. I don't know you anything. In which case, they're even in their arguments. And there's no reason to make one guy pay when they're even in arguments. Right? If I come and say, You owe me money, and you say, No, you don't, you, you don't have to pay. We're equal in arguments. Which means, therefore, that so the same thing would be here. Reuven asks Shimon, pay up for the wall. Shimon says, I paid on time. Okay, equal arguments. No reason to make the money move anywhere. So obviously, Chazak that is that he paid. Never the Gemara continues. El Alav, only what must we say? The Amar Lay, where Shimon said to Reuven, I paid to you early. And that's the Chilish of the Mishnah. That even though I said that I paid to you early, nonetheless, Chazak that he paid. Alma implication is Avid in the party besides money. This would be a raya that a person does pay early. A raya to buy another. Because the chazaka, the chidish of the chazaka would be that even though you it, Shimon said I paid early, nonetheless, chazaka that he paid. Says Rashi, before you finish building the four amas. Okay. So this seems to be a raya to a buy another. Says the Gemara, no, it's not a raya. Even though it's not a contradiction, it's not a raya. Kashani hacha, the case of our Mishnah is different. Why? Techol, shafa, peshafa, zimnuhu. Every single layer is its time. There's no such thing as like the, 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 the originally the Havmina was that when is the due date to pay up for the wall? When the guy's finished. When Reuven's finished, now Shimon is the due date to pay. In which case, then there would be the Machlekes of Reish Lakash and Rava. Well, what if the guy said, I paid before you finished building the wall? But now that we discover this is the Gemara, no. As he's building, that is his man. Every time he puts another brick, that's his man to pay. To pay 50% of that brick, whatever he does. If that's the case, at whatever time Shimon claims, I paid, it's always on time. It's always considered on time. Because it's always time to pay. Okay, so that's the, the, first, the, first, the Gemara's first attempt at proving from our Mishnah in favor of a buyer of now the Gemara is going to prove in favor, take the second clause and try to prove in favor of Rish Lakish. That's the Gemara. Toshma, come in here, the second half of our Mishnah. The Ches, Kashulay Nasan, the Chazaka is that from four Amas and above, and we know we're going with, we're going to go with the, with either Toysvis or Rashi, either way. We know one guy built it and the other guy did not. So then the Chazaka is that the other guy did not pay until he brings a proof that he paid. So Reuven, we know Reuven built off the Amas um, 5 to 6 or 5 to 8. And Shimon, the Chazaka and Shimon did not pay until he brings a Raya that he did pay. Now the same question, what's the scenario? When Reuven asked Shimon, can you please pay for that second four Amas? Because I see now that you built your wall, you like it. Can you please pay for these four Amas? What's Shimon's counterclaim? Did he say, I paid already? Did he say, I didn't pay? What did he say? What did he say, I don't have to pay? What, what, what did he say? Says the Gemara, If Shimon said, I paid to you on time. What's on time? No, when would you say is on time? Well done. When's the chiyuv? When he built the second wall. Right. Rashi says, let's see Rashi. Okay. When I built my second wall, I know that now I'm obligated to pay for the fact that you raised the wall higher because now I'm using it. So as soon as that happened, I paid you for my share. So the Gemara asks, Am I loy? So back, back to the Gemara, Am I loy? Why not? Why isn't he believed? Why isn't the Fasaka to be paid? Well, who it's the same scenario? I ask you, I tell you, you owe me a hundred dollars. And you tell me, no, you don't. In which case we say, we don't make you pay. So here's the same thing. She, Ruben's coming to Shimon saying, you owe me a hundred dollars because you built your extra wall. And Simon says, no, I don't. Cause when I built the extra wall, I paid you. Why is it not believed? Why is one guy have better chazak than the other? El alav, only what must we say? The, um, the reason why he has no chazaka is because the um, Allah, he tells him, I paid for you before I built my wall. 
And because I told you I paid for it before I built my wall, which is before the due date, that's why I have a chazaka that I didn't pay. Is that I, a person, would not pay early, which is why I have no chazaka. Reuven built the middle wall. Shimon built the second wall next to it. Reuven comes to Shimon and says, Shimon paid for the second half, for the second half from five to six, for five to eight amas. Shimon says, oh, before I started building my wall, I gave it to you knowing that I would be mukhoyim. Says the Mishnah, no, chazaka that you didn't pay. This would be a riot that a person does not pay early. Says the Gemara, no. Shiny hacha. This case is different. Why? The Amar, because Shimon says, Who's to say that I'm ever going to be obligated? When, when Reuven lent money to Shimon, Shimon knows the due day is coming. And because he knows the due day is coming, maybe he'll give early. Maybe he won't. But he knows the due date's coming. But when it comes to building the second wall, he might think, like Rashi said at the beginning, it's not that you do a dikadin. So maybe I'll never be asked to pay. And because I'll never be asked to pay, why would we assume he went ahead and paid early? Even Abai and Rava would agree that he, didn't, that he didn't pay early there, that he wouldn't pay early. Because he doesn't even expect to be mechayif. When it comes to a loan, he's expecting that he's going to get the chiyuv later. So I might as well get it out of the way now because I have cash. But in the case of this building the second wall, Ladafka, they're going to ask me. And because Ladafka, they're going to ask me, why would I go pay early? So, so the reason we're, we're not mechayev in the Mishnah is the reason we, we would be, he would be chayev in, in, in the Gemara here. Say it again, why? Well, or, or I should, should say, say the reason, reason that, that, that he is five in the mission it just doesn't exist, here, essentially. Which, 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 which case? In the mission where he, the, the reason he's not five is because it's not well, the lock is not well known. He, he doesn't well, know that he's That's five. why he's not, there's no chazaka that he has to pay, yes. Yeah. So in this case, that, that just, just doesn't exist. He knows that he's going to be five. Five yeah. alone, yes, yes, correct. Okay. That's the Azrashi says. Um, Therefore, I feel over Pratikha Bismani. Look at this key in Rashi. Look at this Rashi. Hilcha, because he says we said they're going to pay, I feel over Pratikha Bismani. Even if he said I paid on time. Which means, Rabbis, like you said, because the, uh, the, 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 the rationale of a mission which says he has no chazaka doesn't apply to a loan, therefore, by a loan, you have two schusim. Number one, you're believed to pay, to say you paid on time. And you're even believed to pay, say that you paid early. That's Rav Abaye's opinion. Now the Gemara is saying, not only is our Mishnah different in terms of someone who says I paid early, to what Rashi's, to what Rashi's touching. But even if the guy said I paid on time, because the Mishnah is predicated on the fact that we don't expect you to know you're going to pay, and that you probably didn't pay. So even if you said you paid on time, we still don't believe you. Which is right there, if you go back to our discussion about Tosis and Rashi earlier, Rashi is so emphatic that the fact that you think you're not going to be Mokhoyev is enough for you not to pay. I don't have to have some scenario where the guy denied. Maharaya, even if I say I paid on time, you don't believe me. Because why would you pay when you don't think you're going to, get a, when you don't think you're going to be asked to pay? Why would you go and voluntarily pay? You wouldn't. And that's, that's enough of a chazaka to say you didn't pay. Whereas Tosis says, and then you have a denial. Right? We're going to see more in the Torah as we develop this, but this is going to become a key here. Okay. And Mr. Shem, next week, I want to revisit the Tzimach Tzedek based on what we just learned now, because we're going to see that Tzimach Tzedek makes a comment about this Gemara. Okay, the Gemara, concluding remarks of the Gemara, concluding remarks. Rav Papa, Rav Huna, Rav Yeshua, Avdi Kabai, Rav Papa, Rav Huna, Rav Yeshua, they follow the opinion of Vayi and Rav, to allow someone to say he paid early. And Mar Barabashi of a Kirish Lakish. Mar Barabashi follows Rish Lakish that a person does not pay early. The Hilchis of the Halach is Kirish Lakish. We follow Rish Lakish that a person does not, does not assume that a person will pay early. So if a guy comes and says, Oh, yeah, I paid three months in advance, he's not believed unless he brings a receipt or some sort of proof that he actually gave that money. Okay, so this gives us a view of what the Gemara is doing, the discussion between paying on time versus not paying on time. And then we're going to revisit these Taisvasin. And in some ways, we're going to be revisiting the Mishnah 
to see what are the claims again. When a Tzimach Tzaddik says that there's a vada chiyuv and a doubt of pay, is that in the time, after the time is over, like when's the claim, claim and counterclaim? Is it during, is, is he claiming that I paid to you on time? Is he claiming I paid early? And th- is there a difference? We're going to have to replay all that now that we know this new information that there's a distinction between paying on time versus not paying on time. And Rish Lakish versus Abaye. And we have the new Svaris, which are A, as you're building the first four Amis, every single second of the Chiyuv is Bismani, number one, which means the only, bif- the only Lifnei's money is like what the Rashba said, the guy asked him to pay for it before he built the wall. Or maybe that's also considered bismami because, they, because you have a, you have a chiva hezekriya. And then for the moment, your neighbors is a chiva already. I don't know. Think about that. And we have this other cloud, which is that in the, in the four amas going upward, the extra four amas or the, uh, anything after the first four amas, we have this idea that the person doesn't pay simply because who said I'm going to have to? And that's a smart enough to say that he's lying when he said he paid. Because there's no way he would pay if he thinks he can get away with it. Okay. Mr. Shem, next week. Sorry? Question on that last, last point of the direction, just thinking about it. Yeah. The, the Chazaka that he, he said he, he didn't pay, or so there's a Chazaka that he didn't pay, and so now he must be lying now when he says he did pay. Yeah. The whole premise, the chaz- so if you switch around when there's a Chazaka that he did pay. The first four on this, yeah. And so then we kind of, we assume he did pay or believe him if he said he did pay, right? You believe in what? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's basically that, that we, we believe his word, right? Mm-hmm. So the chazaka that he didn't pay is not because he's a liar. It's because at the time he thought he didn't have to pay. Okay. But, but, but now, now he's a liar. Now now he's, 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 it's not because, but now he's coming and saying he did pay. So it. There, there's something that uh, is it about his belief or is it about a, a chazaka, right? Well, the chazaka is based on what we know of human nature. And human nature is you wouldn't pay unless you think you for sure have to. Right, right. But, but now he's coming to the basin and, and he's saying and he did. He's saying he did, and we're saying, no, he's a liar. Right. Yeah? So, so we're going to have to compare that also to what we learned yesterday in Bab Metziah about is the Bezdin over, and therefore does he become a Hosekafra or not? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to think about that also. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, we're gonna it's gonna come up in Toysfus a little bit as well. It's gonna come up in Toysfus as well. Like to what degree do we say this guy is a chutzpah? And to what degree do we say that he's just trying to evade a payment or whatnot? Yeah, these are all things we're gonna have to get to be thinking about. Okay. Okay. I think we, we have most of the elements of the conversation, but then we have to have the conversation with all these elements and figure out where we stand and everything. All right. Good night. Uh, good night.